Moin. Yo, yo, yo. We have a new race in Legion Tower Defend. It's Jungle Builder. So I have not seen it. I have read a little bit um, on Discord about it, but I haven't seen any unit in action. I haven't seen anything about it. And I want to check it out together with you. And I am currently in the debug mode here. And yeah, let's see what we can get. This is a builder. Choose the jungle builder, master of nature's secrets. These jungle builders thrive in chaos, crafting impenetrable defenses and deadly traps with unrivaled botanical expertise. So let's see what that means. Um, I have seen some of the units, but I won't spoil myself more. And yeah, let's let's get right into it. I will first off check out all the units we have. Uh, we have the builder for jungle is the shadow hunter, of course. Um, that one will be the profit in the normal game. Okay, let's check out what we have here. We have a snake, a serpent. We have rough terrain without any damage or attack or whatever. Monkey, giant tick, mythic, mystic, and a panther. So let's see. I know that there have been some um, balance fixes already, so this units are going to be at least a little bit balanced in the current version. I will start off with the serpent here. So serpent is there, tier one. Um, check out whether or not it has any skills. Quick strike, it's called. These are the stats. So quick strike starts combat by unleashing 10 attacks with 250% attack speed. That means um, they will go instead of 1.4, it will be yeah whatever how often <laughs> way often. And so it's gonna be early early damage um, in the round. Okay, let's check out the upgraded one. The title serpent has quick strike as well. Um, I will build a new one right next to it so we can uh, maybe compare them right next to each other. Job done. We'll check them out in theory, all of them, and then I will try one or two builds depending on the tier and the unit and the rounds. Um, let's just see how it goes, I guess. Okay, it's had quick, quick strike as well 20 attacks, 250, and this one is 10 attacks, 250. So they are uh, the same ability but with different uh, amount of attacks. Um, nothing really special. Piercing attack, that's nice um, as a unit for round 5 and 7, of course, um, but I don't reckon that a tier 1 unit is gonna be um, strong on don't worry. Be those happy. rounds. I will check out every unit in theory right now at first, and then I will check them out uh, in a build real quick. So we have rough terrain. No ability or just the ability rough terrain. I will place it and I assume it's just yeah, just a background I would say. Not really a unit. Job's done. Rough terrain. Slows ground units by 30% and does 1.2 damage per second in 240 range. 240 range is yeah about the <laughs> amount which is um, rough terrain here. 30% slowdown, that's quite a lot for a 45 supply unit, but it's two um, supply already, that's quite a lot. And it can be upgraded to jungle terrain, probably close to the same stuff, but um, yeah, stronger, I would assume. Slows ground unit and air units, okay, this one slows down air units, that can be strong, I guess. And deals 5 damage per second, okay, so it's 155 value in total. The next one is the monkey and probably some kind of upgrade for the monkey. It has one ability which is banana boomerang. A banana based attack that bounces to two additional units also bounces to one near nearby friendly unit healing it for 2 HP. So it will attack opponents and heal. So this is a mix of support and um, yeah, a damage dealer and we have the gorilla. Uh, with that, which has enhanced banana gold boomerang. Gold oh. Let's get some gold. Oh, big, big gorilla over here. Mm, it has normal attack and ranged attack and non medium armor. So I assume this one is going to be strong early. Um, probably quite strong on five, even on yeah, seven, six, not so much, seven, not so much. It's going to be decent on 4 and on 8, so overall looking like a great unit. The health bar of the Gorilla is somewhere else, <laughs> but yeah, that's just a visual bug. And this one looks like the same, um, but it deals um, 
it heals a little bit more. This one is 2 HP and this one is 9 HP. Okay, that was the tier 3. Then we have the tier 4, the giant tick with the ability leech blood. Presumably some kind of life steal. I really, really like those uh, unit designs. So the, um, yeah, looks really, really nice, I would uh, say. Blood leech, okay, so it's uh, heavy armor, chaos damage, has ability blood leech, leeches blood from the enemies and provides up to 20 HP. Okay, generates more healing at low HP. It provides up to 20 HP every second, every minute, every just once. I'm not quite sure what this ability does, or each attack maybe. Um, not quite sure. Check out the upgrade one, large pincers. It's the extinctor. Extinctor, okay. Some kind of big Upgrade bug as well. Complete. And it's had more effective against large targets. So better against bosses and sense, I would assume, or later levels. Deals five bonus siege damage per 100 max HP of enemy target. 120 is max. So uh, check out the rounds real quick. Um, be happy. Oh, how did that go again? I oh, can't do it in debug mode, I assume. Info 10. Do we see how much HP they have? No, sadly not. Okay, so yeah, I assume that this one will be max damage at some point, but yeah, it loses its life leech, blood leech ability. However, that's gonna work. Um, gets siege damage and extra siege damage. So I assume this is uh, anti 17. Um, but not as great on six. Maybe it one shots already. Fast attack speed. But let's see. The next unit is gonna be the Mystic Wasp Phenomen. Okay. Interesting um, unit model we see here. So it has the ability Wasp Pheromones. Attracts three wasps swarm to attack nearby enemy units. Okay. And it has uh, the upgraded one as summon roots. Okay, so this one should get some helping some guys flying around and dealing a little bit of damage. And then we have summon root on the wild root seer. Well. Would you want to happy? Every 80 sec 18 seconds unleashes a spell charged attack that summons roots, immobilizing eight enemy units for 2.5 seconds, dealing 100 magic damage. Does not affect bosses. So this one can root eight enemy units. 18 seconds, um, I think if you can protect it, this will proc two times, else it uh, won't really proc, uh, just one time, I would assume. And it's a ranged um, magic damage, and this one is ranged magic damage as well. So quite interesting with Light armor on both. That's uh, yeah, one of the worst uh, armor type in the mid and early game. Yeah, I would assume. And then later on, it gets a little bit better. And our tier six is the panther, pan, panther, panther, <laughs> panther, with um, rupture ability. Let's check it out real quick. Sweet. Job's done. Okay. Rupture, devastating attacks that deal additional damage to six nearby units. So this is splash, I would assume. Ten times rupture level, okay. So the rupture level can go up, it seems. Each damage instance increases rupture level by one. If the target unit does not die, rupture damage maximized by damage type. Armor is like light, rupture damage is like pierce. What? Rupture them maximized by damage type. So I assume this one, the rupture damage will be whatever um, the enemy's um, armor is. The panther itself has a normal damage and is unarmored and can be upgraded to tiger, which has the ability to ravage. So this is the big tier six of the jungle faction. It has the ability Ravage, devastating attacks that deal an additional 20.2.5 times the Ravage level to six nearby units, so it's Splash as well. Each damage instant increases Ravage level by one. If the, if the target unit does not die, Ravage damage and maximizing the damage type. Okay, so pretty much the same ability, Ravage, same icon and Rapture. 
this one deals a little bit more damage. 20 points. So 2.25. There's normal armor as well. Uh, normal attack and unarmored as well. Okay. So that were all the units. And then I will check out some builds for the first ones and see how that can go if they survive warriors. What are some viable builds? And then I will get into some games, I guess, and see how they work out and how we can um, yeah, use them, see what other people already figured out. I think this um, race is out uh, already for, I would say, a week, probably longer, something like that. So let's see, um, let's assume we are going for a 3-0, so we want 200 value on one. I will go with these guys, and they are 20 each. So if I upgrade one, Job's done. or if I upgrade two, I can't get double wisp. So that's not what I want usually. So let's try something like this. So this way we are getting uh, 200 value roundabout and we have a little bit of a blocker, uh, the, the upgraded one and the unupgraded in the back. And let's see if it holds normal warriors um, and normal sand and then we see if it holds Very ascend, how that's gonna go. No send, of course, right now. They are melee or no, they are 200 range, which is semi melee. And now we see fast attack speed on the front one. The first few hits are very fast. Upgraded one, two shotting, and the unupgraded ones are five shotting. Okay, interesting. 20 gold units here, no, nothing lost against no warriors, but after the uh, initial attacks, their attack speed gets really, really low. So let's go back to level one. Let's add two warriors. And let's start. Hmm. Yeah, let's start, okay. <laughs> So let's see how do they uh, fare against a warrior. So 200 um, value build composing of tier ones is uh, yeah, usually able to do decent against warriors and looks like it is right now as well. But now it seems like the um, attack speed bonus the fast uh, has stopped. And it leaks quite a lot. So not really a viable build against warriors. So I would assume that the um, that the serpent is more of a um, add and not a carry unit. I would assume. Let's go to um, level two, and I just want to see how it fares against um, against someone uh, against some sense. So on two, usually I would say, okay, I stayed two zero for or three zero for first round, and then I'm not gonna do. A, um, a wisp, so I will upgrade one of the guys. Maybe I should have placed one over here, but time will tell how you can deal with these units. So let's go start level two. No sense, and I will try it with sense afterwards, and that would be, I guess, my conclusion of the serpents, uh, as I am um, not gonna test a tier one unit against le le levels later than uh, the first ones. So two shots on two as well, the upgraded one, which is um, quite nice, I would assume, or I say, since, um, yeah, that's what you want out of a tier one unit. Um, did hold. Let's go level two again, and let's send two spirits. Okay, so this is a test, 290 value of um, tier ones upgraded and I assume this one can be very helpful on uh, five. For 115 value, you get quite the nice attack speed, and quite nice um, DPS early on to clear some of the birds, especially um, important if, uh, yeah, you have some blockers which can uh, tank there, or these guys gonna tank themselves. So yeah, high DPS on five, leaking on two, 10 creeps against scent. I think that is okay-ish. It's not great, um, but uh, I would be 3-0 in this spot. So let's, uh, I will try out um, one more build. Um, notable, they are not costing, the upgrade does not cost any, um, 
any what you might call it uh, any food and we are gonna go level five i want to try that so we are under 600 value which is the drop off point for a good yolo unit on uh, five i would say if a unit can hold five without uh, leaking uh, with, uh, with less than 600 value it is i i personally assume that it is a decent um yolo unit so let's see how it goes here I did not send since, yeah, this is a test for YOLO, so we assume there is not going to be any send. Not quite sure if this uh, one in the front is the way to go, or if pure those units is the way to go. And now the attack speed buff is over, so you want to have them to live as long as, um, at least as the, uh, un the ability is working. And this is quite a convincing hold on fire, so can be a decent YOLO with maybe some good blockers in the mix or whatever. This is, uh, I guess, a fine unit. Does not really feel too imbalanced for me now, um, but not uh, unusable as well. So let's check out the tier two. Okay, tier two is the rough terrain. I want to try it out um, uh, solo, I would say. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's gonna work uh, if you just have the um, rough terrain i don't know how you would have to place it maybe i have to add a tier one but for now i will go for a build which has um yeah 200 value i would say so three zero start let's see how it fares against one it's gone no it's still there has the design of the upgraded one it seems to me are the units gonna take aggro from it? No. So you need something to pull, else the units won't go into it. So placement on this one is very important and I see that there is a lot of damage here on the side. Interesting. So let's let's re, uh, replace the units. Um, okay, how do I place them in a way that all the units run through the terrain. Mm. Maybe I place it over here somewhere and then my actual units which will be fighting in the back. So I am on the jungle terrain again. So the upgraded one, 200 value, two serpents. So this one could be um, yeah, any tier one, I assume, which can pull. So any uh, damage dealer can be a ranger, some tier twos, but you can't go over 200 value. So 45 additional value is the maximum here. And we go start round one. So let's see how it works right now. They are getting damaged. Most of them are running into the terrain. And they are taking quite a lot of damage. No one is fighting the terrain itself. Yeah, cleared here, <laughs> but probably my positioning is off a little bit, so I will try it again a little bit further to the side. This one uh, will need a lot of tinkering around uh, what the perfect positioning is going to be with what units you can do this, if two rough terrains are better or one upgraded one or whatever. But um, for now, I like the concept, the slowdown, and it works even on air units. So this one is... 45 plus 110 it was, so 155 value. Um, that's like polar bear plus a tier one um, with slow in, in it. And level one is gonna start in a second. So let's see if this positioning is gonna do better. And then I will go for uh, um, send on one to see how it works against warriors. This time I had them placed a little bit to find the back. They are fighting on the ground right now. Interesting. And the slow effect you can see is working quite nice. Last guy died in the last second, so yeah. Probably still not perfect placement. I will leave it at that, I think. Um, this one has 
too much options of, of what can go right or wrong. I will play uh, the monkey right now. It's uh, tier 1 with the boomerang. And maybe add a uh, rough terrain in front of it. I'm not quite sure where I should be doing that. 400 range. Let's do it like here. So this is 155. And then I will do one more. So 200 value, 3 0, double rough terrain and a monkey. Let's see, on round one, how is this guy gonna attack? Uh, how are its weapons working out and how does it look like, okay? <laughs> Quite nice, nice design. I like it. <laughs> okay. You see the um, bounce and you see the unupgraded terrain slowing them down. It heals itself. Interesting that you can see this number here with the rough terrain um, around it. It's doing quite well. Um, holding on half HP. Okay, so let's add two warriors to the mix. Um, level one. And let's see how it does here. Okay, double warrior in there. I assume it's gonna leak. Um, if not, that's quite the build, uh, quite nice. Since there was no um, target for the last bounce, I think it bounced three times, not quite sure. And wow, yeah. <laughs> Insanely melted, so. <laughs> can't recommend this build. <laughs> okay, clear, level one. Ditch those guys, let's ditch the banana monkey and let's see what the giant tick has to say. Okay, so this is one of the cheapest um, tier fours, I think. Let's build one. It is melee. And I will go with the rough terrain or maybe with some tier ones. So this is uh, yeah, your average kind of build, I would say, against um, round one. So let's see, how does this work? Is it gonna be leeching every round or how is this gonna work? And I see this unit glow. So I assume this is a background glowing so people can easier spot uh, which unit is what. He does it here on each attack. At least I'm not seeing any healing. Oh, there are ones, twos, twos, threes. So is this healing more and more with each attack? I would assume so. Okay, same build with warriors since th this did hold quite convincingly. Um, yeah. And start. But I still don't really get the ability. Up to 20. Not quite sure. Let's see again. How does it do against warriors? Okay, it is getting targeted by both warriors, so they are focusing this one. I have absolutely good stun lock until now. Now it's dealing 10 damage, 13. So it is healing quite a lot suddenly. 17, 17. I, yeah, this is a fine clear, but I have actually no clue. <laughs> What's happening to its ability? I, I must admit that. So let's read it again carefully. <laughs> a leech's blood from enemies, enemies and provides up to 20 HP. It generates more healing at low HP. Okay, so the lower its HP, its HP is, the more it's gonna heal itself and up to 20 HP. Okay, now I get it. So this one is gonna heal like one on full HP and then each attack on very low HP up to 20. That's nice. I want to try warriors here again. Let's see how it works out. If it was a lucky, uh, lucky thing uh, last round, or maybe it's gonna be better if not both warriors are on the giant tick. It one shots on one. That's nice. And I assume that one giant tick can hold no warrior sent on um, one. So this can be a four-zero start. I will test that real quick, and then we see the next unit. So both warriors again on the tick. Tick took some more damage and is gonna um, 
heal more right now. So in this stunts right now are more dangerous than uh, yeah they were in the beginning because the healing is more. Yeah, this time I got stunned later and leaked more, but this is still uh, an okayish outcome if you are starting 3-0 against warriors. Not many units can hold um, one against warriors if you are on 2-0. Uh, on 3 zero. Let me uh, check out the upgrade. 380. Okay, that's a level 3 value. <laughs> level 3. No cent. Oh, let's send something. What is a typical 3 cent? One blood orc. <clears throat> Does this have a shot at holding on 3? It has siege damage. And the ability does not help against Siege, so I assume this is gonna leak. It has uh, heavy armor, which is not the nicest, nicest um, on 5 at least, and on 7. So yeah, this is not gonna be your early game unit. Um, it's melee even, so yeah, many rounds are not its friend. I really like this uh, unit design. You can see those particles uh, in front there. And yeah, it one-shots here. But gonna leak really big and probably even leaks without the bladder. That's gonna be <laughs> it about this unit. And we are going to the next one. Next one is the Mystic. Mystic is the first unit uh, which I can't test against or with 3 0 start. But I want to see its ability. It's a ranged unit. Um, so let's assume you get one of those on round one. Then you add something and something, and you are maybe you add this one on two. Do I add this one behind? 400 range, and this one has 550, yeah, something like this. So let's see if this has any shot at holding um, four already. This is where this unit can shine, I think. So this one should attract some wasps, if I read that correctly. Don't see any anything around here. Ah, there are some wasps which are attacking the opponent unit, but are not um, getting attacked this, uh, themselves. Ah, they are living for a brief moment of time and then they are gonna go back. The bounce attack of the monkey seems not to be healing anything, but yeah, 330 on four. Not bad, not bad. So this is gonna be a powerhouse on four, I would assume. If you have some um, different unit behind it, it's gonna be nice. And so let's check out the next one. So get a gorilla. <laughs> or wait, maybe upgrade this one. I would be at 580. Okay. Let's get the wild root seer and let's test it out against four, uh, five. Every 18 seconds, roots, something, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Really likes the design. Really, really cool units. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's quite some damage. They don't die on five. That is something at least. Now that the units are closer, the ability of the monkey is healing uh, the white right here. Earlier when there was a ranged round, it did not happen. And right now, this seems to be not a second use of the ability. Nope, did not get there um, and leaking a lot. So <laughs> monkey plus upgraded mystic is not the way to go, I would assume. And we are going clear. And now I want to check out the tier 6 and I want to see if it holds warriors. Okay, level 1 uh, started. We are having two warriors against us and this is um, yeah the panther, pan panther with its uh, rupture ability so it should deal some splash. Okay, so the first one got some damage and I get stunned here. Okay, they are all taking damage so this kind of looks like a spawn I would assume maybe a little bit less splash damage. Getting stunned, yeah, normally not too much, I would say. Uh, say. And looks to me like it's uh, RNG based, whether or not it holds against Warrior. This time it went mid, um, but I would assume that it can leak as well. So let's see how it goes against two no builds. So if you start this one on one zero, can you full push? Uh, if they send warriors, can you um, stay like it? Do you need to add something on two? Interesting. 
I read that this unit was absolutely broken before. Uh, well, it got some changes, but was way too strong on 5, 7 and 1. So I assume it got some nerves uh, in the meantime. Looks like it is going to be holding against no send on 2, which is nice. Um, so it kind of behaves like a lot early, bit bit weaker than a lot. So let's assume we are living in some kind of magical Christmas land where you have bottom feeder and you don't have to wor worry about um, yeah, how you get there. You are just there. So let's go double tiger on 7 against send. So this is your holder unit. If this were two wardens, you are big mid against anything coming in on seven. Let's see how it goes now. Um, we are going Ferb, Hermit, Wyvern. Maybe let's go double Wyvern and a web. Yeah, this is a big sand uh, coming our way right now, but we are big overbuilt 1300 value. Is Tiger, Solo Tiger a valid <laughs> holder unit on seven? Let's see how it goes. Quite fast killing the unit. Uh, splash damage is doing okay ish, but not clearing everything instantly. And it's not made against this scent, so. 1320 value. Let's see. Uh, clear. We must act. Okay, so now for reference, I have double uh, warden here. So this is 60 value less than t double tiger. And I have the same scent here, um, scent amount. And let's see how they do so we can get a feeling for how strong that tier 6 actually is. Of course, it's going to behave way different if you have some kind of aura, some kind of damage dealers and whatever. But yeah, we saw it was not mid against this scent, which we are having here. Of course, there's a difference in the um, damage multiplier, but yeah. This looks like an easy, um, easy win for Warden, comparable. Um, but of course, there are probably some use cases for the Tiger, like 10, it's probably better since it gets its rupture bonus um, if it's not killing the units, if I read that correct. Okay, so I would say this uh, concludes um, my my first look into the jungle units. Um, yeah, here they are all on once and let's see how they go. What, what round is it? 2840, let's see, info 12. 2400 in for 13, 2700. Okay, that looks good. Level, level 13. So let's have them fight off level 13 in a bunch. Of course, the placement of jungle of the terrains is messed up. But yeah, here we see them both. Let's see how this is gonna go. So just for a quick look in, get all the abilities and look at them and yeah, see how it goes here. We have the healing effect. I really, really like the um, display of how much they are healing. I hope that that is uh, a thing for every unit in the game right now. But yeah, we will see how it goes. And I am looking forward to seeing this in action uh, in the games. I haven't played for over a week now and I will, uh, yeah, I am looking forward to doing so and to check those units out, check out how they behave in a real game what other people have to say to them and what I can figure out myself, how I can break some units of those. I'm already really looking forward to seeing the Tidal Serpent and the Monkey. Those are two of the units which I really want to try out. This guy I'm quite interested in and feels like it's gonna be really, really strong against four. If you can get it uh, to there without dying, maybe it's really bad on three. I don't know, this looks like uh, not gonna be one-shotting on three. So yeah, we will see how it goes. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one with some of those games. Bye.